Microorganisms, Part 2 We know that microorganisms are found in air, water, soil, and inside the bodies of plants and animals. They can survive under all types of environment, ranging from ice cold climate to hot springs and deserts to marshy land. Some microorganisms grow on other organisms, while others exist freely. Also, some microorganisms like amoeba, which is a protozoa, can live alone, while fungi and bacteria may live in colonies. Some microorganisms are friendly, whereas some others are harmful and cause diseases. Friendly microorganisms. These microorganisms are used for various purposes. They are used for making bread, cake, cheese, pickles, alcohol, vinegar, curd, etc. An important ingredient of rava idlis and butter as is curd. This is because lactobacillus present in the curd release a gas that make the idlis and the butter as soft and fluffy. Microorganisms are also used in cleaning the environment. For example, the organic wastes are converted into usable substances, that is compost. Some microorganisms, such as penicillium, are also used in the preparation of medicines. Whereas, some help in increasing the soil fertility by fixing nitrogen. Harmful microorganisms. Microorganisms are harmful in many ways. Some of them cause diseases in human beings, plants, and animals. Diseases such as dysentery and malaria are caused by protozoa. Typhoid and tuberculosis are bacterial diseases. Common ailments like cold, cough, influenza, etc. are caused by viruses. Also, some serious diseases, such as polio and chicken pox, are caused by viruses. Many skin infections are caused by fungi. Apart from causing diseases, harmful microorganisms also perform other activities, such as spoiling food, clothing, leather, wood, etc.